The Chilcan developer refutes the city of Youngstown's claims, why banking relationships are key for minority-owned businesses, and the SBA simplifies the PPP loan forgiveness process. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. The developer of the Chilcan project on the east side of Youngstown says if the city has incurred any financial damages from the stalled project, it is because of the city's own negligence. In MJ Joseph Development's filed answer to the city's claim the company owes it $2.8 million for breaching two development agreements, the company refutes all the city's claims and asks that the case be dismissed at cost to the city. Youngstown Law Director Jeff Limbian says the next step is for the court to schedule hearings and a trial date. The case is being heard in Mahoning County Common Pleas Court. Good banking relationships are key to the success of any business, and the same is true of minority-owned businesses. In today's Three Minutes With, which is part of our Minority Entrepreneurship Week coverage, we hear from Frank Hero and Lee Fields of Premier Bank about the services that are available for minority-owned businesses. This is a very prideful community, and you know, when people talk about their particular business, this is the businesses that they have uh, passion in, that they probably plan for, for a long time, and once they see it get off the ground, they're pretty excited about it. Um, and then on top of that, when we can come in and help them be that much better by you know, just giving them background and experience as it relates to finances and financial education, that, that's a good marriage. There are resources available to help minority businesses get, get up and running, uh, but I don't know that um, we've done a good enough job in general as, as a banking industry and, and, and the community uh, uh, organizations to get the word out. You can hear more in the Three Minutes with video on our website. And a new portal launched by the U.S. Small Business Administration allows businesses to apply for forgiveness for paycheck protection loans directly through the agency. The portal is for businesses who borrowed $150,000 or less and will be available starting August 4th. A link to the portal is in the story on our website. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to check out Maggie Young's After Hours report at our sister site, AfterHoursYoungstown.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.